Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty Inside and Out with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very, may, very much for tuning in. So today is an episode I'm excited about because it's a new discovery and I love discovering new things, especially when I like them. So today I'm going to be talking about Boom by Cindy Joseph and this is, is about woman. Um, let me show you. Boom by Cindy Joseph. If you haven't heard about this brand or this person, then this is great. You're just like me. So if you want to try at least their best-selling trio, and it's not my first impressions because I've been using this the whole week. Uh, if you want to see this, please keep on watching and let's begin. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell in the right-hand corner. All right, so first let me tell you how I discovered this. It's actually a gift, but not like you think. It was not PR or anything like that. I went to an event, an event I was very excited about because it was about Paulina Poriskova. I don't know if you heard of her, but here it is. Paulina Poriskova. She is and she was a supermodel of the 80s. So remember when the supermodel Cindy Crawford, Claudia Schiffer, probably I'm not pronouncing it right, but Linda something, they were the, the, the bunch. <laughs> they were just gorgeous. And one of my favorites was Polina Poriskova. Now why? Well, she was gorgeous, very symmetric, the same as Brooke Shields in my opinion. And, uh, but every time she came out in an interview, she kind of tried to show that she could think, not only look pretty, but that she was intelligent and that she could answer more intelligent questions if asked. And she also had a history. She, you know, it was, you can hear her whole story. I don't want to make it about that, but, uh, and, or you can read her book, which she just came out, which is sort of an autobiography. She comes from Czechoslovakia and the way she began is interesting because it was a picture in the news about a child, which was her, two or three years old. That's how her whole photographing career began, but you can read all about it. It's not just about the past. She also talks about, well, you can read it. In any case, because I admire her so much, uh, I wanted to go to this event. And especially now, 40 years later, yes, 40 years later, because she started to come out and started to talk about how invisible women our age sort of become in the social, cultural, um, or media um, conversation. And uh, so I love that. And I started following her specifically for that. And I wanted to meet her specifically for that. And so I did. I went to this event uh, and I'll, I'll try to edit and post a little video here that I did. It's on Instagram. But when I met her and spoke to her and she signed the book, let's see, I have here to Claudia. Let me take this posters out. If you want to see what she put on my copy to Claudia so lovely to me to Claudia so lovely to meet you um, Paulina Poriskova yay okay so it's her the name of the book is no filter no good the bad and the beautiful in any case it was a dream come true for me, full circle, I feel. And uh, because that is the topic, that is the topic at hand. I'm very, very, um, I mean, it's not her only topic, but she was kind of touching on that, that I just mentioned. But for me, it's a very important topic, which is to give value, to give value to that, that we do as women, um, in an older age, and I'm talking 35, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Um, because it's not just beauty, it's also beauty, but it's not just beauty. And, um, and to give value to that, that is unseen perhaps, but 
we would like it to be heard, right? Okay, so I don't wanna deviate much, but that's how I got to see this Boom by Cindy Joseph. So when I went to that event, they gave this beautiful basket, which was very, very useful and it will be useful. So that's how you know it's thoughtful, right? Um, because I could put the book in here and my purse, my purse was very small. Uh, so I love this little gift. Thank you very much. Very practical. One of those that, you know, you never expect it is a gift and you just use it for everything. I'm sure that will become that. And of course my dog had to come in the video. Inside of this beautiful gift already was this other one with a little something. And, uh, and a trio. Here we go. Now, the first thing when I pull this out, the container, you know that I have review luxury makeup. I mean, I wouldn't say this is very luxurious, it's plastic, and that looks, it's not a sticker, but it looks like if it was a sticker. And uh, it is printed on the Boom by Cindy Joseph. That was the first thing I saw, and then there's three stickers, so you can recognize which one is which. With that, I really, really appreciate. So there's no ingredients listed here. Um, so I'll read you what this card says. Um, Broom, boom Stick Trio. Our original Pro H Cosmetics, these multitasking sticks are all you need in your makeup bag. Use these creamy cosmetics to create a pro age look that reveals your natural beauty. Um, so everything was just calling me. So boom, what came on the trio? Now I did go into the Google and, uh, and Google the brand and went into the brand and they have an Instagram, which I'll try to post right here so you can go and check it out. So let's begin trying these sticks. Um, again, this is Boom by Cindy Joseph. And what I know about Cindy, because I read it in the website, is that she used to be a makeup artist for over 27 years, and then she became a model herself. And she created this product. So she goes, and I love, love this. She doesn't believe in the anti-aging, she believes in the proof. Pro aging. I think I got it right. Let me see some. Cause we are pro age and not anti age. Love that. And any guys, so in her website you can buy all the um, the items individually, or you can buy this trio. It comes in this little bag. Now what I notice is that she sells things for the hair and uh, I guess for the skincare. I haven't tried those, but now that I tried, especially the the first one I'm gonna show you, the, um, what's the color? No, the glow, the Boomstick Glow. Uh, I'm interested in trying her skincare now, at least her moisturizer, because, so obviously everything is organic and good, Product, good ingredients even though they're not listed necessarily here but this uh, first one that I'm going to talk about is called Bloomstick Glow so it comes with three so there's glow there's glimmer and then there is uh, color very basic uh, my understanding is this color, there's only two, is this one, which was the one and only, and then she just came out with a second one. And she believes this color is for all skincare, I mean, for our skin color. So you'll see what I mean. I do like it. I don't know if it'll work for other skin colors, but uh, it seems that it would because it kind of becomes your skin. You'll see. But we're not going to start with that one. We're going to start with the glow. So with the glow, I just wanted to read you because I... Apparently, is the same ingredients, the same seven ingredients that she puts in her moisturizer that she put in this stick. It's a seven ounce stick, very small. So you could put it in your purse, in your jeans, in whatever. And so it goes out and it's just like that. There's no color to it, really. I mean, it is, you see that? It's just moisturizer. I mean, yeah, you can see a little glow there, right? So a little reflection. 
you can see it there versus here very very light yeah I don't know if you yeah there you go you can see where I made the mark right so the way she uses this is uh, to just add moisture where you need it throughout the day and this is something that I learned new yeah they kind of put it here or here or you know whatever you need a little more moisture and this is something I've been learning kind of <laughs> kind of made it to fruition kind of make it to for me to really get it once I try this as we age it's true it feels good to put the moisture just in certain areas in addition to your regular skincare and so I know I'm a little red but um, I do feel that just adding that in certain areas feels good in the morning. If you've been with me, you know that I'm a big, big, big user of Westman Atelier. I love that brand because it looks so natural, so comfortable, it feels good in the skin, but uh, it just enhances how you look naturally. Really, it's not like a full makeup, although she does make you know famous people for the red carpet with that. I'm talking about Westman Atelier. So I guess she could be worn like that, but I use it every day. I love her whole line. And so this is even more organic. I think this reminds me like the people that like Herborean, you know, the Herborean cream. I do own it and it's so light. You just put it and it's supposed to be good for your skin and just kind of blurts tiny little bit or gives you a little moisture. I think this one goes into that category but uh, it has no color just moisture like I mentioned but just putting it like I just did somehow it makes you feel and look better now don't ask me now when I google it I did or in YouTube I did notice there's some ambassadors of the brand and of these products and obviously they all, not obviously, but they all are kind of my age and older and they all swear by it. And so I liked it. So the second item, it is the color. Now let's swatch this. It's just, it looks very dark. When I first saw it, I was like, oh no. But apparently it is for all skin colors. And it has worked very well for me. So let's try it here. I know, I know. So you can use a, a brush, of course, but I just use my hand. And look how beautiful. It just feels nice, right? It just looks very natural. Now, right now I'm looking very red. It's not because of this. It's so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, because this is sort of what I do every day, this is a Charlotte Tilbury. If you've been with me, you know how much I love this corrector. Now, I could just put this a little bit under my eyes, and this could be before or after the other stick, because it's just a moisturizer, and this is also so moist. But if you notice, it does have a little bit of color. So I would do this very creamy, very nice. And then I would add it in all these red parts, either using this product or the Westman Atelier sticks. That's what I use every morning. But it's just in these areas to take the redness uh, away and a little bit of the wrinkle or whatever. You notice that? So this is what I would do in the morning then I would use all these products as we are. So um, the ambassadors I saw on the website, they only use these three things. For me, I need a little bit of that just to cover some of the redness, but of course you don't have to. And sometimes when I'm going to the gym or just an errand, I don't wear the other stuff. Just this three, is so nice, just feels nice. And look, now, I can't tell you how it will look in a darker skin complexion, but they do say that, um, that it kind of converts into your skin. And if you notice, I mean, this is so dark, definitely not how it looks, but. And then last 
but not least, um, it is the Glimmer. We all want a little bit of highlight. You can use the Victoria Beckham, it's one of my favorites, or you can use, of course, the Westman Atelier Lit Up. Um, but it comes in here and now it has, in my opinion, a little bit of lilac in there. And you see how it is a little bit, I mean, it's not transparent like the Westman Atelier Lit Up or like, let me compare it to, to the Victoria Beckham. It's another one of my favorites. Okay, so this is Victoria Beckham. This is the Boom. So this one obviously has a little bit of color, right? And so what I do use it for is I take a little bit with my finger and I put it in my lid and it really, really brings me up, picks me up. And it gives that little bit of lilac color. Now you could use it on your cheek if you want it. Look at that. Very beautiful, right? It ties it all up. Um, and I wish I had here, but I have it in my purse. The One of the limited edition Chanel uh, highlighters just came out this year that has a little bit of lilac as well. It reminds me of that. This one definitely has a little bit more color and it's not just the lilac. There's another kind of, what would you call it? Mink, champagne sort of. But um, but I think it gives that same pickup. That's what I wanted to go with that comment. And uh, so look how beautiful. Now let's compare it with the Victoria Beckham, for example. Um, you can, well, before I place this, let's compare it with the Glow, right? I mean, if I just want to add this, I put this in the bottom. But let's say I want to add it up in the top, right? You see how it does glow? This is more highlight and this gives me that glow. And remember, this is so moisturizer that it won't emphasize if you have texture in your face there or wrinkles. Like look at those wrinkles right there. I mean, if I wanted to, I just place a little bit here and here and it makes a difference. And even that I apply the corrector from Charlotte Tilbury, I could add this on top. So if you have wrinkles or sagginess or anything like that, I think this really helps you look nurtured and healthy, if you know what I mean. So I've been really enjoying this. Um, but let's say, like me, I like a little bit more glow like I apply. So I can use that or I can use the Victoria Beckham. See if you make any difference. I don't think it made like a huge difference. There it is. Put a little bit here, a little bit here. You see, you start playing, but you still look very, very, very natural. And it's not just looking natural and looking better. I'm feeling better because I feel my skin is getting nurtured. And so perhaps it might not be so good for the outside world to say, oh my God, you look great. But for me, I feel uplifted for sure. Not just woke up uh, from, you know, from bed and, or get out of the shower and done nothing. So for me, those are the basic. Either the Westman Atelier stick or the Charlotte Tilbury corrector. And then this three, I've been loving it. And then of course I usually put a little bit of the Kiss Kiss. If you've seen my channel, you know I love this one. So I have it in several colors. These are not inexpensive, so it's not for everybody. But I put this even to go to bed or, you know, cause just gives a little tiny little bit of color. You could have used this. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do that. It's, yeah. I guess should I take this off? Let's see this. And the other one that I really love that I have on my purse is Ilia. Ilia moisturizer is uh, is less expensive than this Kiss Kiss, 
and uh, it's very very lovely and it brings a lot more color to your lips so if you want it a little bit kind of not so light that will give you more color so let's apply this one on the lips what did I think about it so mm. oh yeah look at that and then if you want to take a little bit you can even apply it as monochromatic just to lift up a little bit of your eye and like I said this um, brand just came out with a second color and I think it's a little lighter a little more pink so and it's not like the bubblegum pink but it is a little pinkier and um, I'm curious about how that looks but this color I just love it so look at the lips oh and one more thing I want to put after I apply this lipstick how about we can put a little bit of the glimmer I'm telling you it's only three things but you can really do a lot with it look at that oh yeah and if it was not this because you don't want that lilac color you can put some of the glow so it's like, like a lot of things you can play with. And to finish up the look, I'm going to put a little bit of RMS mascara. The reason actually I stopped filming, but I decided to come back. So I was looking for a mascara and I saw this and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't tried this. This is RMS mascara, first impression. with and without with and without let's finish it up I like this mascara it goes very lightly very comfortable in the eyes I will have to come back and let you guys know how it is after many hours if it flakes down here or not it didn't stay much lately for some reason when I apply mascara it stains in there I didn't apply that much I didn't do that that much so it seems comfortable so I will post a, a pin something if it comes all the way down but so far I, I like how it looks all right well that is it finally my dog was able to not bark like a lunatic and we were able to finish and so last, I just want to say thank you very much to Mumbai Cindy Joseph for this uh, awesome gift. And I am a new customer, definitely. As soon as this one's run out, I will be buying something. And I'm very curious about that other new color. And I'm very curious now about their skincare. And of course, I have hair. But... Um, little by little but i just wanted to do this video and tell you all about this brand thank you very much uh please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so please ring the bell in the right hand corner and uh, let me know your thoughts have you tried this brand do you know about this brand and anything else you want to share thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye